Hero Motocorp's dominance in the Indian two-wheeler market is largely due to the motorcycles. Last month, they sold over 5 lakh two-wheelers, of which only 34,000 were scooters. But that does not mean they have given up on their scooters. In fact, they regularly update their scooter lineup to meet market expectations. And now, they have launched the latest avatar of their best-selling scooter, the Destiny 125. Second gen Destiny comes with an all new design which is quite different from the older Destiny. In the front, you have these new projector LED headlamp with edge shaped LED DRL. Registration number plate is placed just below the headlight on a contrast panel which also displays the hero logo. There is another edge shaped design element in the front which can be seen in this chrome element here. This houses the halogen blinkers on the sides and has a mirror print badging of Destiny in the center. All these front body panels are finished in plastic and the only metal part here is the mudguard. New Destiny now gets larger 12 inch alloys wrapped in 90 by 90 rubber in the front and 100 by 80 at the rear. Suspension setup in the front remains telescopic while the rear gets single spring setup. Overall, the front design is decent even has a sporty character, but feels overdone due to the excessive use of chrome and dual tone elements. Speedometer is all digital and gets Bluetooth navigation with turn by turn updates. It also has display for fuel level, average fuel efficiency, trip meter, time, side stand indicator, service indicator, etc. Fit and finish levels around the speedometer are not that great and could have been better. On the left side, you have controls for pass, turn indicators, and horn while on the right side you have buttons for i3s, high beam, low beam and illuminated start switch. Turn indicators are auto cancelling which will turn off after 15 seconds or 80 meters of distance travel. There is more chrome seen here on the handlebar as well as on the rear view mirrors which are finished in dual tone. There is a pocket here to store a bottle or place your phone. USB charger is also on offer here. This is how the key looks for the new Destiny 125. Nothing fancy, plain and simple. It does the job, but it does not get a smart key option even on the top variant. The black plastic quality could have been better as you can already see there are these white fading elements on a brand new scooter. As it gets older, these will look even worse. On the top variants, Hero is offering brown color plastic. Hero has updated the chassis of Destiny which has resulted in a longer wheelbase of 1302mm. This is 57mm longer than the older Destiny. Talking about dimensions, new Destiny is 1862mm long, 703mm wide, 1125mm tall. Seat height is 770mm, which is lowered by 8mm in comparison to older Destiny. Ground clearance is optimum at 162mm. The longer wheelbase has resulted in a longer seat making the ride even more comfortable than before. Pillion back support feature continues to be on offer with new Destiny as well. This being the ZX variant, it gets black seat. On the ZX Plus top variant, you get dual tone seat. Under the seat, you get large storage area which can easily store half face helmet. Full size helmet might not be able to fit into this. Hero has also added an LED light here which will come handy when you are trying to find items in the dark. Fuel tank lid is just behind the seat and can be popped open from the front keyhole. Fuel tank capacity is 5.3 liters. Fit and finish levels around the fuel tank lid could have been better. Below this are the rear halogen turn indicators, hero badge and the edge shaped LED tail light. Side panels are finished in metal and come with Destiny 125 x Tech branding. Exhaust design is new and gets a chrome plate as well. Talking about the exhaust, here is how it sounds. Hero Destiny gets a 125cc single cylinder engine which delivers 9bhp of power and 10.4nm of torque. This is the same power and torque output as the outgoing Destiny. Just like the old Destiny, the new one offers a refined riding experience. The changes made to the chassis has also allowed Hero to offer a better rider triangle which will not only improve the riding dynamics but also offer more comfort to the rider 
over longer journeys. In the city, new hero destiny is easy to maneuver and the quick acceleration adds to the fun riding experience. The potholes and bumps rarely unsettle the scooter. On the highway too, it offered good stability even at high speeds. What could have been better are the brakes. Despite of adding disc brake in the front, the braking of new destiny lacks spite. And you are just not sure when the scooter will come to a halt. It is packed with features with LED headlight, digital speedo with Bluetooth navigation, USB charger, long comfortable seat with enough storage area here as well as under the seat. It is powered by a 125cc refined engine which claims to deliver 59 km per litre. Safety has been improved with the addition of disc brake as well as you get auto cancelling winkers. Talking about the cons, the quality of plastic is not that great and fit and finish levels in some areas need improvement. Overall, it is a complete scooter which can be ridden with ease. We hope you liked our first ride video of the Hero Destiny 125. Thank you for watching.